Good morning, oil traders. It is Saturday, August 5th, and uh, I thought we'd take a look back at the week of July 31st and August to August 4th, um, where we appeared to be in a range. Um, so basically following August 1st, or I should say right after uh, the end of the month, um, we did this kind of jump up to a test of uh, 50, reaching our high of, uh, what was it, 5041. Uh, which we touched twice on that particular day in the overnight as well and then proceeded to drop and i thought that that was going to be our final turning point of course and i was preparing for the opportunity to sell hopefully a couple of shorts once we pass this um, kind of 48 um, 40 level we touched as low as 48 uh, 38 and then rapidly came back up over 49 and then basically fought our way back towards 50, didn't quite make it there, dropped back down to below 49 and then back up over 49 to where we are right now at 49 and a half or so. Um, and uh, with my positions, uh, my lowest, sh my highest short is at 48 and a half, so, or 49 and a half I should say. So when we were at 48 and a half um, a couple of times, I was well in, you know, in the money to exit that one short position, but it is a small position. If we take a look at my portfolio here, for example, um, let me do a refresh on this page so you can see the correct dates. Um, but you can see that it's not even 20%, it's 18.3% of the portfolio. Um, I have larger positions, um, well, actually it's identical positions, I guess. Um, that are uh, just over a month old now and uh, selling a position that's kind of this lightly weighted in the portfolio for what well, it would be roughly four percent maybe um, it's it's nice and I would have definitely considered doing it if we stuck around but as you can see um, you know we never actually stayed there we touched here rapidly moved back up um, started moving down here, shot right back up, and just happened over and over again. It was the same for um, 50 area, right? We didn't hang around that uh, the highs either. So it's, it's unfortunate for me because I didn't get to play, um, but this, is, this happens to be the first week in a long time that I haven't had the opportunity to buy or sell anything. Um, usually I can either add to my short positions or, or, or add, to, add to my positions in general, I should say, or exit a position and take some profit off the table, as you've seen me do in weeks past. Uh, but right now, basically, we're range bound until you know, traders decide what to do. Uh, basically, our range seems to be kind of mid-49s, let's say, um, maybe closer to 49, uh, which for me is not great. Uh, to be quite honest. Uh, it could be that we're going to wait right up until the news events on Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday morning. I wouldn't be terribly convinced of that. Um, I've seen it happen before where we have sudden drastic moves um, breaking through any resistance level ahead of news just basically purely based on speculation and then when the news actually does come out you know watch out because if it reverses course you could have really dramatic uh, days in that case uh, but like I've said before my approach to playing this is really not to try to guess what's going to happen um, you know it's clear enough I think everyone can agree that we are range bound and traders are basically trying to decide whether we're going to go above 50 or below 48 and a half. So one of the two is going to happen. I'm certain of that. I'm not certain of anything else. Uh, so until that happens, basically there's really not much to do. Yes, if we, if we kind of end a day closer to 48, uh, I would definitely look to sell one position. If we drop below that, I'll be looking to sell more than one short position. If we go back up, as I've said before, I'll be looking to add to my short positions over 50-50. If we, if the drop, and if we do drop, and the drop is significant enough that we get to 47 or even lower than that, and I'm not necessarily suggesting that that all happens in one day, then I'll be looking to add to my long positions. Um, at 47, it starts to look attractive as a long-term play, not because I think suddenly we're gonna bounce from 47 back up to 50. Uh, that's not the way my brain works, for better or worse. But uh, what I was saying is, you know, 
I try to stick to my pattern, my, my rules, my strategy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's served me well in the past six months or so, and until it proves to not serve me well, I'm going to stick to it. Uh, it helps me diminish the impact of my emotions on my trading decisions, and I'm sure many of you would agree with me that that's a big culprit in anyone's performance. So for that reason, I'm just going to stick to my numbers, more or less. You know, um, I'm flexible to a point. You know, if we, for example, close a day at 40, at 50, 35 or 50, 30, yeah, I would probably be tempted to add to a short there, uh, but it just doesn't happen. We managed to fall off and we, don't, we haven't been able to hold um, for a close uh, at either extreme. Uh, which is why I've just held off until you know the next day shows me some sign of of a firm direction, and then it doesn't. We were end up reversing code um, course. So if you were able to get in at what turned out to be our highs and lows, it actually could have been quite profitable for you guys. Um, unfortunately, with me kind of having played off the highs and off the lows, I'm kind of stuck in the middle, just waiting for for a direction. Um, once it comes, and it will come eventually, um, it'll be glorious, especially if it goes down. But even if we go up, I've got the 52 long that I've been carrying forever. Uh, that would be nice to exit uh, if that were the case. So I'm, I'll be okay either way. Um, my portfolio is still pretty lightly weighted overall. Um, I'm just over half of my portfolio invested at this point, so still lots of cash on the sidelines to take advantage of whatever move comes. But uh, that's kind of my view on this past week. We're looking at the week here. Um, lots of volatility, but unfortunately not much of the volatility that benefited me personally. I'd love to hear how you guys managed to do the week. Uh, you can hit me up down below on the comments form on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, and charts. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading on Monday morning um, here on the East Coast of North America prior to 9.30 a.m. And until then, have a great weekend. Talk to you guys later. Bye.